I was a Toys R Us kid. I didn't want to grow up. But then Toys R Us died and gave me no choice. Y'all are, y'all are a mess. Uh, yeah, that's why I said, how in the heck did this get like this? Yeah. In one day. One day? Really? We started liquidation yesterday. It didn't look like this two days ago. Oh shit. Damn, people rushed in, didn't they? Yeah. Dang. They did. We had about 100 people at the front door yesterday when we opened. Oh man, that sucks. I mean, it's, I guess it's good, but I, hopefully it's good for you guys too. Yeah. Good and bad. You guys get a sale bonus? Huh? You guys get a sale bonus for mass people coming in or something, or no? No, we get nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Even as it closes? Nothing. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Damn. CEO's got a bonus. Yeah, yeah. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. Hope we got stuff lined up. In 2005, Toys R Us board of directors put the company up for sale. So when a private firm, Bain Capital, bought the company, they used what's called a leverage buyout, which essentially means they take out a loan from the bank, but put the debt and the burden of that debt onto the company that they just bought to make it back. Y'all ain't got no PS4 games? Maybe y'all right here. Shit, I'm blind. Thank you. Oh, we got games on sale? Oh. Man, because liquidation started Friday and I wasn't here Friday. Oh, no I shit. didn't know what they was all, what they, you know what I mean? They was doing. How you guys taking that? Huh? How you guys taking that liquidation? Uh, I don't know. They taking it. See, I already got a part-time job. Oh, another one? <laughs> yeah, I already, got, I already had a job. Oh, that's good. That's good. I'm come here. I already Damn. had it, so um, I can go full-time there and then I've been... I wish they would have told me because I, when I was reading the court, they don't court, tell you. Yeah, they yeah. tell you no. <laughs> they don't tell you shit. Yeah. Had I known that, I would have never demoted myself to come here. Also, oh, it was a demotion. I demoted myself from my other job. And I was making a little bit more, but by this being on a larger scale, I'm yeah. like, so y'all could have, they, they could have told me. So I'm, I'm upset about that, but Cocksucker. that's why I'm like, yeah, my research before I go into something else. Yeah. But I'm fine. I don't know how everybody else take that. Damn. That sucks, man. Yeah, it's, yeah. Sucks with people. Yeah. Take care. Since the purchase in 2005, private equity firms Bain Capital and KKR collected more than $470 million in fees and interest rates from Toys R Us. Just five days before the bankruptcy was announced, five executives shared $8.2 million in retention bonuses. CEO David Brandon received $2.8 million of the $8.2 million in retention bonuses on top of his $3.7 million salary. CEOs are practically lining up here to get a bailout. Well, I'm not asking for one, I'm giving one. Toys R Us executive president Amy Von Walter said, ultimately our creditors determined that liquidation of our US business provided more value to them. Because we were forced to liquidate, we were not able to follow with the normal severance process. In lieu of this payment, we were able to provide a minimum 60 day notice to help employees begin their transitions. All of this on top of the fact that at its lowest point, Toys R Us was bringing in minimal $11 billion a year. When do you guys officially like close close? Um, between June and July. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Mm, that sucks. Yeah, but then again, I'm happy as hell. Are you? I am. I am, but then again, I'm going to be sad because the people that I met here, oh, I'm not going to yeah. see them every day, so yeah, that it's going to be very heartbreaking. Yeah. And then at that, we're not going to get a payout or... Oh, so you're not? No. Seriously? Mm -hmm. no, the we will get our last paychecks, yeah, but as far as like a servant's pay, we're not going to get because due to the bank bill. That's bull You know the CEO's got to pay out. I bet they did. So well, the man the managers are probably gonna pay out. But how long have you been working here? A year. Oh man, I'm sorry. Yeah, I've been working here a year, and I've been lied to about if we were gonna stay open or not. And they said yeah in the beginning. Yeah. But then I have to do my own like research and find out. Yeah, because the they don't tell you shit. Yeah. They don't. And that's why I said that we're not getting a service pay, but I know they're definitely gonna get something. <laughs> that's bullshit. Yeah, and if they do, I'm going to be really upset, but then wow. again, it's a loss, so I can't do nothing about it. Damn. We're not even allowed to talk to the news people if they do come, so. Really? Yeah. Or we'll lose our jobs, which is always pretty. It's fucked up. Yeah. Oh man, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. I mean, this. Do you have so, you have stuff lined up at least? No, 
I'm getting my GED so I can go to college cool. to be a radio personality. So nice. I'm as soon as I graduate from there, I'm going straight to college. Okay, cool. So cool. I'll be done with part-time jobs, but for the time being, I have nothing lined up at the moment. Okay, I hope it works out for you. No, thank, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Some people can actually care less about if it was our job. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. No problem. It's all good. You take care. Thank you, sir. You too. You'd be easy to point at Amazon.com or the like as a reason Toys R Us died. But if you look at the fact that, as previously stated, Toys R Us has been making, at minimum, $11 billion a year, and the fact that since 2005, Toys R Us has been saddled with the debt of its own purchase, you'd be hard-pressed to say that the decisions that led to this weren't the real reason that Toys R Us died. Can I get a price check on this? Uh, 50 bucks. What do you mean I work here? What do you mean why I work here? Why would I want to work here? You guys are closing. Uh, they make you file, they make you sign a paper. It can be spending cash. <laughs> make you sign a paper unless there's nothing we're closing and this doesn't have a tax so I would not be able to take it. Seriously? The one thing I want to fucking get? Yeah, there's more over there. No, this is the only one there. <laughs> Come on, man. What if I just walk out with it? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just playing. No, we wouldn't care. We don't have security. We're closing. There's, what, what can they do? Well, I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm really going to have you look this up. I'm, I'm just... <laughs> Gotta feel a Pikachu. Yeah, man. People love P-I-C-H. Pikachu. P-I-C-H. P-I-C-K. Oh, shit. I used to play it all the time. P-I-C-K. There's a K in there. Pikachu. Pika. P-I-K-A-C-H-U. P-I-K-A-C-H-U. Pikachu. Headband. I can go look again. I didn't see it's any. It's P-I-K-A-C-H. P-I-K-C-H. Yeah, it's Pikachu. P-I- K-A-K-A-C-H-U. Okay. C-H-U. Pikachu. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I play, I play Pokemon. $7.99. Is that after the deal? Plus 10% would be like 684. Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> so we'll give it to you for 650. Are you are we bargaining right now? Bargaining. Oh, okay. Six. Six twenty-five. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. What do I pay here? I'll okay. Right, right, yeah. <laughs> Wait. We don't have the clear thing. Let me see how much this is. I'll pay you under the table. Is that cool? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, what if I <laughs> legit? What if I told you I only had six? Alright. I'm sure cash is worth more to you guys than credit. Give me six. Alright. God bless. Receipt, nothing for cool. Mm -hmm. I need to see right now. Oh no, it's fine. Uh, well, whatever. Thanks, man. There you go. Have a nice day. You too. Around the time of this filming, Toys R Us won a court approval to pay its top executives up to $21 million in bonuses. They argued that the money would incentivize them to boost sales during this critical year-end shopping season. Retail workers were offered nothing. 33,000 employees that were not asked about the bankruptcy, that were not asked about the liquidation, and were not given a single bonus for liquidation. Everything trickled up. Nothing trickled down. It happens all the time. Private equity gets away with the money, and the people at the bottom don't make shit, even though they're the majority of the company. Toys R Us is dead. Long live Amazon.